because they don't have enough people to pay be in the background or everybody's afraid of getting COVID. Who knows what the situation is? It's very dull and dry and blah. You know, when they go into the future. There's a scene in... Uh, I agree with that. I yeah. can agree with that. When you get into the... Um, there's a scene in... I want to say the first one where they go through time by accident and they see everybody looking at them and they don't know what to do or what to say and then you see everybody stand up and they do this thing the get air guitar thing and it's a very uplifting moment right and then of course that's when they say party on you know or right and that kind of we thing and do each other or whatever right and that scene come into the future is to me it it's a really big uplifting scene and, and still today it's very powerful for this spoof of a movie you know it's because it is a spoof movie and if, if everybody everybody know why they chose a telephone booth Probably because I don't want to say it if I'm wrong. Go ahead and say it. Who cares? We're not going to shock no, you. I'm not. I don't have stupid. a button that's going to shock I you. Look stupid on the internet. No, you're. I already look stupid on the we internet. We all look stupid on the internet. <laughs> well, I don't want to look more stupid on the internet. All right, all right. You say it, I'll tell you that's what I was thinking. Why did they choose the telephone booth? Was it because of Doctor Who? No. Oh my was, God! I look stupid on the. No, no, you know, you know oh good God. guess though. You know, and that's something to think about. No, is because Back to the Future had a car. Yeah. And the I the when the script was written, it was they were going to be in the Wild Stallions van traveling in the future. Oh, and they couldn't be in the van. So they chose. And that's where the film was like, this is a silly film because they're like riding into in the uh, telephone booth with like six or seven of them, <laughs> you know, rocking back and forth like a boat. Yeah, a bunch of <laughs> That was funny. I do like, I keep saying it, but I like this film. I did. No, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to watch the film again. I'm gonna I don't do know it. if I could watch the film again, but... <laughs> but <laughs> I would I, maybe when my kids turn if I ever have any kids if my kids turn twelve maybe. <laughs> well, I'm twelve, so party on, dudes. <laughs> or this, um, but we'll get into fan service here in a minute because I, 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 I promised myself I was I was going to do a fan service rant. Um, About Keanu Reeves fan service because mm. I'm here for that. I I like I like Kanye. Did you, Anyone. did you know he was voted the internet's boyfriend? Kanye was? <laughs> hey, hey, I did, hey, don't get mad at me. I voted for Kanye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Let me see. Hold it. They're so different. I don't even understand. Is this some kind of inside joke you have or like? Oh, you know he, you know he ran, right? You know he ran for president, right? No, yeah, I know he ran for president, but he has absolutely nothing to do with Keanu Reeves. I, it just, it's something about it. It's like because of his uh, Kanye coming out here. Like, I, was like, I just I always love the South Park episode where he's swimming with the fishes. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that, but... Caleb told me about that at one point, so I vaguely know what you're talking about. Yeah, where he's, uh, where it's like they're making a joke about fish sticks. Yeah, he said something about, I, I just, I have this. So and Kanye cannot get little, the joke, so you're, so you're, so you're a gay fish if you don't get the joke. <laughs> now that's yeah, I, funny, all right? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, 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 do you like fish sticks? Yeah, I like fish sticks. Then you're a gay fish. I don't get the joke. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Oh, I've, I've, I've sidetracked to something funny. Alright, so, um. Oh my God. Where were we? Okay, so. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, let's, let's skip. Okay, the what happens to the family? 
how did the robot get involved in this? Because obviously they, they they were trying to create a new death from uh, Journey. Um, of course, we'll eventually get into death again. Death comes back, and which you did not see the second one. So death is no, in the second. I'm, one. Yeah, I was really confused throughout like that whole part of it. So yeah. So confusion equals entertainment. So. Um, <laughs> It confused me. Okay, so, um, because they end up in hell because they send this robot and understand why does the mother send the robot? Because the, mo the, the mother of the daughter who's, who was married to George Carlin, the great one or the great leader or whatever, decides that there's another prophecy that said if they're dead, that's the completion. That's the song. The death them being dead. Bill and Ted. So she sends out a robot and what happens? Well, the robot first accidentally kills the daughters and the whole band that they have just assembled. And then the robot goes on to kill Bill and Ted and send them to hell as well. After a small fight about right. don't and then do right and and so they go to hell basically and and so which is a really funny scene where they can try because they go visit the dudes as they're like in a nursing home in San Dimas I guess so um, the older selves yeah and so they pick up a song from them and so then they meet the robot who tells them he feels guilty about killing everybody mm -hmm. so they're like okay you can come with us now no that's not how it goes they got to go to hell too so what does they got to do which is probably the funniest part and one funniest mm -hmm. part of him they have to go to hell too so, oh, we're in before that. Yeah, so he's like, shoot, shoot me. And he's like, but I, I can't shoot you if you have the song. And then he just breaks the song. And he's like, no, shoot me now. And then he, like, the robot, like, airs out. And he's like, I'm going to shoot myself. And then they and so, all just kind of, like, go to hell together. Yeah. And the, and the thing is, is, like, uh, the, so that's where I see the premise of the movies is, like, you know the song is you know is more about family than it is about the song now because your world is your family now and that's more mm -hmm. important to them but you know which people can argue some uh, semantics about this you know like um, you know isn't wouldn't saving the world then you would be able to go to hell you know anyways like any, you know, couldn't you kill yourself later after you've delivered the song? Oh wait I mean, a minute, that that would be that would be too intelligent. That's using your thought. But this is a Bill and Ted movie, so they do something stupid, right? And that, that's what we're expected them to do something dumb. So they yeah, that's true. Okay, they go to hell. And <laughs> All right, so they're in hell. And they get them out of hell by going back and refreshing their uh, relationship with death, right? I guess, yeah, that was the whole thing. Yeah. I I don't know if... I, I might have to do a quick recase of this plot again, because uh, I'm getting confusing. So they go back to Earth uh, in a SWAT van while uh, hitting people in the process. Because uh, the dad's in hell, too, because he got annihilated by the robot as well. Mm -hmm, so that they, was random. Yeah. So they air in a traffic jam while the world is ending because time is messed up. And so now they're on the verge because Jimi Hendrix and Louis Armstrong, now imagine, are all in hell, too, because they were evaporated by the robot. If I f did not, if I failed to mention that, and yes, I failed to mention that. I, I think I said it. I said ever the whole band got killed by the robot with the daughters. Okay. We can rewind that sometime. <laughs> but if we fail to mention, the band's with them. So they end up on a traffic jam 
And now they've got to play the song because it's at the time because they don't even know what club this M whatever means and all this kind of thing. Uh, can you explain the M26 whatever? <laughs> yeah, it ends up just being like a mile marker where they're in this traffic jam. And mm -hmm. like the entire time I was expecting it to be like some random planet or something. Yeah, they were thinking it was going to be a club. A club or a bar, yeah. I don't know. Weird. Right, so they end up in this traffic jam and there's a great little um, advertisement uh, promo from Guitar Center. They probably paid thousands of dollars to be in the Bill and Ted movie. <laughs> I didn't notice that. And um, we saw people say, well, dude, we get stuff from Guitar Center. <laughs> Anyways, without any electricity, they set up a <laughs> band. <laughs> live show in less than five minutes yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's how it works the, you the know. chicks and they with, play a song that they have no idea what they're playing yeah, and they have two chicks that uh, use samplers to uh, to yeah. orchestrate the band <laughs> and and here's the thing folks and if if we're supposed to take anything seriously which I don't know I don't know where okay Anybody watch Bogus Journey here? Raise your hand. I did. <laughs> did you, Lucas? No, unfortunately not. Okay, all right, all right. Were the, da the daughters weren't in Bogus Journey at all, were they? No. In fact, okay. I think Bill or Alex had, uh, Bill or Ted had a son that was hanging off his uh, uh, backpack with a beard. Oh, they both had sons because they both had beards. So basically, this is not canon folks <laughs> what? How i'll you... explain this because this is the perfect time to do this all right can i say something for one moment here uh, at the okay. end at the end of bogus journey they realize something very important what if you have watched this and you people out in the audience what was one thing that Bill and Ted realized towards the end of the film before they played God Gave Rock and Roll to You? What was that thing that they realized? They realized that they could not play instruments. What? Yes, because they were horrible musicians. And all, f if you, if you, uh, the history, you, what was the funny part about Well, I'll start. Why Stalin's is they could not play a lick, okay? Yeah, they, they couldn't really play. They couldn't really play. So what do they do at the end of Bogus Journey? They go back in time and learn how to play. And they come back with beards because they spent several years learning their craft and didn't shave. And they out had children with beards as well because they had learned to play as well because they had kids while they were learning how to play i have to watch it yes uh, and it's yeah. free on youtube by the way it is free on youtube both bill and ted movies are free all right this is something that bothers me <clears throat> because I don't know what in the world you're supposed to take seriously in Bill and Ted. Absolutely nothing, obviously. But I do think that you should take the music seriously. And I think when Bill and Ted went back in time to learn the music, they thought, look, if you're going to play, dude, you better learn how to play. That's the message from Bill and Ted, right? So, because of... Not writing? Why in the world is all of a sudden the girls are musical engineers? You said, yeah, yeah, but they learned their self of picking pieces. I'm sorry, yeah, folks. Yeah, I don't know. They were like, they just <laughs> listen to music and then all of a sudden they can write music. Right, and I listened to music for 20 years. But the $2,000 that I spent for college was... So I could learn the the engineering part of the whole system. Like for instance, I, I can't I can't ask kiddo. I said, 
Kiddo, I need some phantom power. And how would Kiddo react to phantom power? I'd say, what? Exactly. And that's because I paid thousands of dollars to learn how to become a recording engineer and learn how to piece music and that kind of thing. Learn how to do math to figure out how long delay seconds are and things like that. Know what a cardio Mac mic is. Know what all these things. So why did the girls go back in time and get their engineer degree and then lead the band? That's my problem. It's not canon. <laughs> That's a good point. Loophole right there. Well, they only had like 20 minutes. You got a time machine. <laughs> you got all the time in the world. We're not sticking with the Bill and Ted. <laughs> Whatever yeah, they that, that doesn't make sense if, if they if they got to stop time and go back and learn how to play guitar. I don't understand why they couldn't just stop time and like write a song. Well, yeah, exactly. So, but oh, anyways, there you go, folks. <laughs> I love this movie. Okay. I will keep saying it. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm sure if I'm, you know, stoned off my gourd, I would love it. I needed some painkillers and just watch this. One day when I'm like, you know, in pain, like falling off a truck or something, and I'm laid up in bed and I'm popping whatever hydrochloric, you know, whatever hydrocodone if hydrocodone and i'm popping these i'm gonna turn this film on and it's gonna make a hell of a lot of sense it's i'm just gonna like this is the greatest thing in the world other than that i'm just like first of all you don't even have a movie because you got a freaking time machine then second of all you don't even stick with with bill and ted's canon you know it's like yeah that's that is a big issue i mean I, i'm not saying it's like you know it's like it's like watching liam nielsen explain jedi powers are from uh <laughs> midichlorians not because it's a religion to believe in <laughs> it's not religious it's just the fact that it's some midichlorian <laughs> in your blood so you can't be a jedi but then, then the Jedi move, second Jedi movie comes out, and now everybody can be a Jedi. Then the third one comes out and says, Nope, not you. Just all the specific people we choose. And you got Jedi, and you got Star Wars fans fighting over this thing. No, everybody can be a Jedi. Another one said, No, it's who's chosen. That's the only one who can be a Jedi. And it's like, you're like, This is the reason why fan service sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time for my rant. I'm going to say this right out here, folks. You're young. You've got $8,000 equipment that can do just what these $40 million movies do. You've got equipment out there you can buy for under $1,000 and do almost what these people are doing on the film right now. You're young. You're free. Like Pat Benatar, you can create your own stuff. And I'm sorry, man, if you think you can take your fandom and introduce it to a younger generation and not crap on it for the adults, you can't do it. You can't please everybody. It's like Aww. that's the truth. That's, Is that like they crapped on it. I think they did. I think I think it was like, yeah. Why? Why? Why would you say that? Cause you didn't go back in time and get your degree, like like Bill and Ted did. That's a hole. That's awesome. Yeah. You did not. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. D done with this. I'm not sitting here. I'm 47 years old. I think the yeah. moral of the movie was actually not the fact that, and they even said this, not that it was the best song in the world. Right. But essentially, that everybody was playing together. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, but I don't need an hour and 30 minutes to get there. <laughs> 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 you, 
You want to do a YouTube? What they should have done is just got everybody on YouTube say, "Hey, let's play the Bill and Ted song," and that's it. You know, and been done with it. I, I tell you a, a good example. Probably, if you guys want to watch Tenacious D's movie, that there you go. That's that's good. That's exactly what this is. Is 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 a tribute to music. Bill and Ted, I'm sorry, folks, uh, it does not stand the test of time. I'm like, when I was 12 years old, yeah, or 14 or 19 year old, yeah, it's funny, it's a bunch of goof heads. You know, I, I mean, I grew up with Hee Haw, I grew up with uh, Prince of Bel Air, all that stuff where you take a fish out of water and it's supposed to be funny. Beverly Hillbillies, all that stuff, it's the same thing. It's making fun of people that are different from you, basically. That's all it is. Or, or creating extra dumb characters for us to laugh at. Because we cannot... If we did offensive characters, we can't laugh at them anymore. You can't... <laughs> you can't create... Like, like you can't laugh at people that are actually like that. Okay? That'd be wrong. Because that'd be making fun of the mentally challenged. But to make fictional characters that, we, that are dumb and that we laugh at and create, that's okay. You know, that's all right. That's what they're doing. And like I said, like I said, if it's to a tribute to the music, it's not there. I have no passion for it. It's just being plain silly. I've, I've got to be in that mood. i got to be in a total silly, silly, silly mood to laugh at it. Uh, or create really good comedy, really intelligent comedy or something, you know, uh, by the way. But there's, uh, like, the instance of him picking the time and over his family, that's good. That's moral. That's a good thing and should create some emotional but uh, stability in my life or emotional uh, connection, let's say. But it does not create that emotional connection. It's not there. It's not strong enough for me to do this. And then it just, it just really, to me, it's like, it's like watching your dad on a skateboard say, yo, I'm cool too. That's exactly what it looks like. And That's what it looks like to you? Yes. I think it's hilarious. I, I, I just. It's the generational difference. It's got to be. I wonder if my mom's going to like it. Well, I. Because she's going to watch it with, I'm going to, me and my brother liked it so much, we were going to watch it again with her tonight. Well, so we'll see how it goes, but. She ended up liking it. Or I just, to me, it's just, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out and, and i'm not i'm not just i'm not just crapping on bill and ted i'm just crapping on the whole fan service crap it's just i'm tired of it i really am i'm just tired of taking stuff and trying it's taking a take an old rusty beat up car buffing it out and making it into a cadillac that's what i'm tired of i'm just sick of it if i just when especially you got a whole generation of creativity out there that can create something and that's just what i'm saying that's what i see about it i mean it's just um try there are parts where i laughed i mean i'm not gonna uh, laugh about it. it's like a reviewers have said well it's a bill and ted movie what did you expect i don't know mm -hmm. i just don't know what i would expect I, I guess i would expect to feel like i did with the bill and, when i watched a bill and ted movie i don't feel that way i got really angry <laughs> I did watching this. I really did. Because it's just, it's sad. It, it really is. I just, it's yeah. to the point, I don't know what to say, but, but, uh, you know, if. I can see that at least. Yeah, it's like throwing in people that in a new, that's the problem is, is like people of my generation, if you're going to try to fan service them, you know, put them in situations that my generation are in, you know, like we're struggling with, you know, like maybe do something like, for instance, they should be trying to save their kids. You know, that's what uh, some people of my generation are doing. They're not dealing with, oh, well, they did go to couples therapy, but why, you know, You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I don't... I guess, yeah. There's it just, was to show that they were, like, really out of touch with reality, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like I said, and, and, and the only thing you can say is, well, it's a Bill and Ted film. What'd you... <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, 
Did you expect? Did you expect the Mona Lisa? No. I just don't know. I guess I'll be honest. I'll be honest with all three films, and I, I'm judging Bill and Ted itself. I don't know what you guys were shooting for. That's my bottom line. Were you making fun of people who made stoner films? Were you? What were you doing? I'd like to know. I'd like to ask Alex Winter, who's a brilliant director. And, and if you guys want to see a good Alex Winter film, there's Freaked. Uh, if you want to see a good Kanye, uh, uh, Keanu Reeves, Kanye. Film. If you want to see a good Kanye film? Watch him on Joe Rogan. He had to do a good podcast. Uh, if you want to see a good Keanu Reeves films, uh, you know there's Breakpoint and films like that. Um, I, I just, I guess, be honest with you, when I, my first impression of Bill and Ted is where I'm at right now. I didn't like it when it first came out, and I don't like it now, <laughs> and that's the problem. You'd, you'd have to be, and it's like, there was a certain time that I did like them, you know, when they came out on VHS, and I did like the kind of thing, but, mm-hmm. but there's nowhere in my mind did I say, geez, let's dig them up out of their graves and make another one. <laughs> I want to see a CGI George Carlin that is, uh, you know, there's nowhere that I've I've said that I wanted that. And I I never. Okay, I I see where you're coming from. I can understand where you're coming from. I should shut up after this. uh, And guys, please, for goodness sake, put your hate mail down at the bottom because we need some more comments. Oh, my God. Is that why you're so angsty today? I am so angsty today, I'll be honest with you. It's just, I guess, I don't know. You need some coffee. No, I didn't even have any coffee this morning. I didn't even have any coffee. I went straight (laughs) to re-recording tracks today because uh, now I'm in that mood here lately. I feel like you're going to go throw your keyboard out the window and yell at someone. Like, do you need help? (laughs) Well, it's just... I, it, you just get, you know, like, when here's the way I always described it. It's like when I was younger, it's like, you know, you have to understand, when you hear things over and over again, it gets old. And the best example yeah. is when you were a kid, remember when the first time you heard, why did the chicken cross the road, Joe? Yeah. All right. We probably thought it was funny, right? But when you heard it, what, yeah. 10 times, 20 times? This is what I'm feeling right now. It's like... Yeah. Beating the dead... I, I don't know the... What's that term? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Beating the dead... Beating a dead horse, I guess? Is that what you're... I think so. You think so? Yeah. Who beats a dead horse? And do you go to jail for it? If you beat a literal dead horse, would you be tried... Is it already dead? Or did you kill it by beating it i guess that's like it i i don't know the laws okay it probably also depends where you live yeah like i don't i'm not experienced in this uh <laughs> i i do not have any personal experience of beating any dead horses oh, and, so and by I the way folks my anger towards fan service do not direct it to kiddo <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He hates me. I'm being held hostage, just letting all of you know. Just, um, I've, I've literally been in his basement for like eight years, and he only lets me out to like take pictures and like. You know how many people songs. actually believe that, bro? Um, <laughs> send help. <laughs> send help. <laughs> send help. No, it, I'm watching shitty movies. <laughs> it, <laughs> he makes me watch shitty and, movies. And by the way, after this. You're gonna. I'm gonna go over analytics with you, and you're gonna be surprised. What do you mean? You'll be surprised after we get done with this. With which one get the hits? Yeah, which one gets the hits? You'll be surprised. I probably will be surprised. And guess what? Okay. No, okay. If not our Bill and Ted. Is that what you're about to say? <laughs> I'll throw hands. Like I'm all the way over there right now. Well, let's, let's quickly. Okay, recommendations. Watch this movie. I liked it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, who who would you year recommend year. it to, though? Twelve-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Old people in a nursing home that have no? like the drip of the. Uh, I can't even think of what we call it because there's so much pain. 
Oh, oh my gosh, the yeah, the like. Yeah. I know what you're talking about like the pain drip. Yeah. And this, they would you're... love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. If you cut, if you if you've gotten in a fight here recently and you're on hydrocodone, hydrocodone, and you're trying to get over your pain, perfect film. It's so basically uh, anyone on severe pain relievers. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, who drinks and smokes pot, probably <laughs> LSD addicts. <laughs> the whole roster of people. YouTubers. <laughs> oh my god, what is that supposed to mean? You are a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Look, I don't have a cat. And I'm not willing to show the goods. So this is what I have to resort to. So. what I look forward to during my yeah. week. Is it? I'm telling you right now. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you subscribe to my fans only page, you will see my actual literal cat. I'm not saying he's in good condition after 10 years of death, but... Oh, my gosh. All right, we're done here. I was going to say, I was like, with a cat... Alright, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing these videos. And uh, unless Lucas has something to add to this. Leave a comment below. I don't... Yeah, I... Let us know what you think of all of our shenanigans because we're dying to know. <laughs> we're lonely and in quarantine. Please interact with us and i'd like to give i'd like to say something i am dennis caleb mccoy worst character in the whole movie dennis I'll caleb mccoy <laughs> thank you dennis thank you dennis <laughs> all right we'll end this guys thank you guys for watching who's your daddy Bring the party cause the party's all night long